Yeah, but I'm in uh, Georgia in the United States now. Okay, nice. And how do you like Georgia? Uh, it is good. It is the Georgia. The weather of Georgia is really similar to the Korea's Korean the weather. Really? So I'm really enjoying the life in Georgia now. Perfect. That's awesome. So you're liking life in Georgia. Um, okay, cool. And so uh, what do you do in your free time in Georgia? What do you like to do? Uh, in the free time? Actually, I have no many free times here. <laughs> I have no much free time. But... Okay. I have two daughters, so I'm usually have some, you know, time with them when I when I have, you know, some free time. Okay, nice. So you spend time with them. And how old are your daughters? My oldest one is eight years old, and youngest one is five years old. Okay, awesome. That's exciting. And what are their names? Uh, first one, uh, I mean the oldest one is Jihei, and the other one is Heju. Okay, beautiful. Yeah. And, alright, cool. What do they like to do? What do they do for fun? They really, I don't know, they really like to go to school and reading books. Okay. That's it. Like <laughs> okay. And... So, Julio, welcome to class. Julio, how are you doing? Hello. Well, I am feeling a little under the weather today because uh, this week <laughs> I've been nice. <laughs> this week I've been snowed under at work, and uh, I haven't had okay. much opportunity to study my English. But I hope today I get enough speaking practice in your class. Awesome. Well, keep our fingers crossed. Really good weather idioms, too. Um, <laughs> Thank you. Funny, I just taught under the weather this morning in my, my class this morning. Um, and John, welcome to class. John, how's it going? Hey, hello. I'm fine, and you? I'm doing well. Thanks for asking. It's good to see you again and, as well, John. And your internet came, came back normally? <laughs> no, I had to see I'm in my first. Right. Yeah, I think his internet's not working. Yeah. Julio, you are <clears throat> your microphone. Yeah, you, you are making noises. Your respiration. Okay, oh, this yeah. is mine? Thank you. Okay. Hello. Oh. Okay, and so, Ceballos? Uh, Ceballos, how are you doing? Hey, hi. Uh, fine, fine, thank you. Hi. Hello. Can you hear me? Yeah. I hmm. Teacher, are you there? Ah, Adela, Adela, how's it going? Um, hello. How are you today? I'm doing well. Thanks for asking. How about you, Adara? How are you doing? Fine, thanks. Okay, nice. That's good to hear. And Adara, um, did you do anything exciting today? Uh, today, I I do um, uh, I uh, this is um, I no DIY do I yourself. <laughs> I'm not sure. Uh, sorry, uh, it's a joke. But it's, uh, <laughs> what did I, I did, maybe I just didn't hear you. No. 
do it yourself? Do it yourself, no? Is the brico? Yeah, so if you're like doing a do-it-yourself kind of work uh, around the house. Yes, I, I fix a, a lamp in my terrace, etc. <laughs> this is okay. Cool. Do I do it yourself, no? Yeah, so you do some do-it-yourself. Perfect. <laughs> yeah. Um, and, all right, and Julieta, welcome back to class as well. Julieta, how are you doing? Thank you. I'm doing well, thanks. Nice. Okay, and yeah, I can't hear you. Can you hear me? Yes, yes. Okay. Um, but okay, and we're also Ceballos. Ceballos, are you there? Your microphone is mute. Yes, I I am here. I am here. Hi, 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 hi. Can anyone hear me? I can hear you. Um, yeah. Sorry. Uh, Where are you from? Teacher, uh, can you hear me? I, can you can you hear me? Ah, yes, yes. Sometimes I have problems with... Uh, I don't hear you more. I don't know why. <laughs> okay. I'm not sure. Um, it might be my connection or your connection. Hopefully it's not mine. Yes. But um, okay. And so, Savios, um, what do you do for fun? What do you do in your free time? I love watching uh, soccer games. I I am I I uh, my favorite team is Real Madrid, and the, I also listen to music, rock music mo mostly. Okay. So you like listening to music and watching Real Madrid play. They played yes. today, right? Yes, yes, versus Elbar. And did they win? Uh, I don't know. I didn't watch. I was sleeping. <laughs> okay. Okay, good. <laughs> um, all right. Well, let's get started with today's class. So we're going to be talking about going to the doctors. And here it is. Let's start with Nayang. Nayang, can you read the title in the next few lines? Uh, going to the doctors. Today, you want me to read these other sentences as well? Yeah, please. Okay, sorry. Today, we will talk about reasons why you go to the doctor, illnesses and their symptoms, medical verbs and verb con con conjugations. Good. Yeah. Conjugations. conjugations. So it looks like that. Conjugations. Conjugations. Good. Well done. And yeah, did a great job. Let's go to the next page. And Nayang, can you ask Julio the first question? Okay. Julio, what are some tools doctors use? Um, good question. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right. Well, they use the well. Usually, well, the stethoscopes or stethoscopes. It's uh, you know, the little thing where they used to listen to your heartbeat. And um, what else? They use these wooden, you know, like wooden sticks that they put inside your mouth. Just so you control your tongue, and they can check your throat. If um, where else? Mm, lollipops. Mm. <laughs> yeah, that's all I can think about. My two goals: that those lollipops in the you know pediatrics. Yeah. I guess um, you know needles, syringe. That's good. Um, Band-aids, um, thermometers. That's all I can think about. Sorry. Yeah. Don't be sorry at all. You did a good job. Um, and Julieta, can you think of any others?
Mm. Uh, I don't know the name. Mm. Sigmanometer? <laughs> I'm not sure what that is. <laughs> the, the tools that you can use to measure the blood pressure? Um, uh, blood pressure gauge, maybe? I'm not sure. I'm not mm -hmm. sure what that would be called. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. Mm, can look it up, though. I will find it. Can you think of any others right now? Mm. To use a little, I don't know, a little hammer, you know, to hit your knee and check your reflexes. I don't know what's the name of that. Okay, it's a reflex hammer. That's a good one. Okay. Yeah, reflex hammer. Um, but good. And so yeah, Julieta, you were right. It's a sphygmomanometer. <laughs> I'd never heard of that, but yeah, that's a good one. It is used to uh, gauge your blood pressure. Mm -hmm. Sphygmometer. Sphygmometer, maybe? Sphygmometer. You could also call it. Yeah, it's a tough one. Um, not widely used either, but good. I think that was great. And let's have Julio. Can you ask Julieta the next question? Juliet, how often do you go to the doctor and why? I don't go often to the doctor. I went to the doctor, but I went to the doctor a few days ago. Okay, so I don't go often, but I went to the doctor a few days ago. Really good job with the irregular past tense went, Julieta. Um, okay, and... Julieta, can you ask Ceballos the last question? Do you have a doctor? What is his or her name? When was the last time you went to the doctor's office? Yes, I have a doctor. Her name is um, Capistran. <laughs> it's a, it's a, uh, it's his, his name. The last time that I went, was the last week. Really good. We have an extra article in this sentence, so we need to remove an article. The last time I went? The last time I went? Yeah, the last time I went, but... So articles are A and and the. Uh, so we need to remove one of those from this sentence. Ah, okay. The last time that I went was last week. Good. Yeah, so last time I went was last week. Perfect. Um, okay, and I guess that's good. Does anybody have any questions on this page? I have a question about frequency. I, okay. I heard this once, but I'm not sure if that's the appropriate term. When you go to one place, like you go one day and the next day you don't go, but the day after that you go again and you, and so on and so on. Is that called every other day? Mm -hmm. uh, every other day. That. Every other day. Okay, I wasn't sure. Yeah. No, that was good. And I have another one, like very quickly. Um, for example, I get paid every two weeks. So can I say like, I get paid every fortnight? You could biweekly. I get paid biweekly. Biweekly, okay. Um, or you I could have, just say every other week. I, I have a question. Um, um, in the first, in the first question, uh, what is the name of the of the object when, for example, a doctor uh, has vaccines, vaccines and inject and I don't know how to say the vaccine, the instrument that they use to inject people. Uh, 
Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah, I can hear you. Sharing, no? Sharing. Joshua, I can't hear you. Anybody knows the name? <laughs> Talking about the the needle. Yes, the yes. Sherry, La aguja. Needle. Uh -huh. needle. Ah, okay. Syringe. La jeringuilla. Syringe. 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 Yeah. Definitely. Syringe. Um, today we have problems with the connection. Maybe. Yeah, I think it's Joshua. Yes. Anybody knows the the clothing of the doctor? I don't know how to say it. Mm. Doctor's huh. coat. <laughs> <laughs> the the white the white one is I don't know I don't know how to say. It. <laughs> is it like a white coat or a lab coat? How about gown? The do they use the word gown? What is that? Gown? I mean the gown? You gown like a nightgown. Yes, white gown or doctor's gown, something like that. Mm -hmm. Doctor's gown, yeah. I've heard code used more often, but I'm not sure. Julio, you're going to be the teacher. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, you should just left. That's a shame. <laughs> <laughs> I need to connect the battery. Oh, he's back. Yeah, he's back. <laughs> Come on, Joshua. Talk to us. He's here. He, look, he looks worried. Yeah. <laughs> no, just frustrated. <laughs> Sorry. It's fine. No worries. Um, yeah. It's just not very fun when you've got internet trouble. Um, okay. 
Well, so I think this looks better at least. Let's try to get into those words. Adela, can you read the words? Hi there, are you there? She said something about going to plug her computer, so probably she's away. Okay, and so let's have Nayang. Can you read those vocabulary words? Okay, allergy, pill, fracture, headache, bleeding, cough, cold, nausea. Stomachache. Nice. Really good job with your pronunciation of nausea. Stomachache, you did a, a really great job. Maybe just cough. Can you repeat cough? Cough. Yeah, and bleeding. 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 Nice. Good. Really nicely done. Thank you. Okay, and does anybody have any questions here? Yeah, I have a question. Uh, I I think I've heard nausea, nausea, like with C H S H, or is with um, an S sound. I I pronounce it more with the Z sound, nausea. Yeah, um, nausea. If you're saying nauseous. Nauseous. Yeah, that's right. Which would be nauseous. So yeah, just they, it's odd because they're spelled practically the same way, but the pronunciation varies quite a bit um, between nausea and nauseous. Does that make sense, though? Yeah, totally. Okay. I actually read somewhere that nauseous doesn't mean that you feel nausea, but it means that you provoke nausea. And if you want, if you feel Nausea, then you have to say that you are something like nauseous or nauseated or something like that. Have you ever heard nauseated. that? Nauseated. Um, I actually hadn't heard that. That's kind of news. Um, I always thought that nauseated was really similar to nauseous. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm not really sure. That might be something. Yeah, I'd have to look up, but yeah, really interesting. Yeah, I remember when I saw the movie The Blair Witch Project the first time. Really? It was it was nauseous. Uh, it was nauseating, uh, I'm sure. No, I felt nauseous. I felt nauseous. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> <That's> yeah. <laughs> the movie we would say the movie was nauseating. The movie. Uh, with ing. Yeah, because it, it makes you feel nauseous. It makes you feel, or it makes you feel nauseated, I guess, if you're doing that. Nauseated. Thank you, Josh. Yeah, you're welcome. Um, good, good question. Does anybody else have any other questions about anything, any one of these words? Uh, I have one. Uh, call is the same like uh, glue? Cold? Cold yeah. is... Uh, Similar to the flu. Ah, flu, 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 flu. The flu, but usually there is no temperature. So, yeah, it's less intense. Usually it's just like a cough, uh, a sore throat, something like that. Um, so the flu is a little bit more intense than a cold. Cold is unpleasant, but it's not that bad. Any other questions? Yeah, I have a question. Uh, what's the difference between ache, heart, and pain? Ache, heart, and pain. Um, ache, heart, and pain. So, I guess ache is more... A dull and pain. sore. Okay. Um, hurt, a little bit more intense. 
Um, soar. Soar is more like an egg. Um, and what was the other one? Pain? Pain's like just general. Um, so muscles are usually sore. Um, aches, maybe bones. Bones. And sore would be muscles. So you're usually sore after playing a game um, or doing an activity. Uh, if you ache, maybe your joints, your bones, your joints are achy. Um, hurt, it's more intense. So like a cut or an injury. And pain is just general. But good. And any other questions? Yeah, uh, me again. Describing a pain, um, do you you have like this pain that you don't feel like it is exactly in one place, but it's the whole area. And sometimes you feel this pain like if someone is stabbing you. That would be a sharp pain. So sharp pain is like stabbing. And an achy pain. Achy? I'm not sure. An aching pain, <laughs> let's just say that. Is um, it's like more dull, widespread. I call it a dull pain as well. Does that answer your question? Yes, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Good question. Uh, anything else? Does anybody else have any other questions? Okay, and so that looks good. Andrew, welcome to class. Andrew, how are you doing? Hi, hi, I'm here. Thank you. I'm fine. Okay, good. And good, so I think we're good with this page. Let's go to the next one. And let's try one sentence. Let's have uh, David, can you make a sentence with fracture? Okay. Can you hear me, Joshua? Yes. Okay, Joshua. With fracture? Uh, okay. Well, uh, for example, uh, in a soccer match, uh, um, I fracture my leg when uh, I kick off the ball. <laughs> When I kick the ball, this is good. Um, we might want to use the past tense if it's something okay. that happened. Fractured, fractured. Yeah, I fractured my leg. And then, so we change kick into the past tense too? Kick it. Yeah, and it just sounds like kicked. Kicked. Mm -hmm. Kicked. And then you said off the ball? Uh-huh. Kicked off the ball. Um, I'm just not exactly sure what you're trying to say. Yes, I think that doesn't make sense. <laughs> Maybe I was thinking in, in that uh, another player um, make me a... I don't know how to say a tackle... Uh, Okay, so if we're doing that, we can say when another player, you could say when I got tackled yeah. by when another tackle. player. Uh-huh, when I get I got tackled by another player. Yeah, okay, can you read the whole sentence? Yeah, sure. In a soccer match, I fracture my leg when I got tackled by another player. Good. Okay. And let's go to the next page. And skip that. Let's try this. And let's start with Savayos. Can you read the title and the directions? So 
Squires. Okay, maybe not. Andrew. Hi, hi, hi. Oh, hi. There you go. Sorry. Can, don't be sorry. Can you read the title and the directions? Sorry, what what I need to do? Can you read the title? Ah, okay, and sentence the directions. Yeah. Sentences advanced conjugate the missing verb. I need uh, going to a doctor. Ah, to to see. I go, I need to see a doctor right away. Why? Why do you need to see a doctor right away? My throat is sore. Oh, <laughs> that was good. It was supposed to be just a general question. Ah, so need to, okay. how would you answer? So if somebody asked you, why do you need to see a doctor right away? How, what would be you say? Because I had temperature all the all the last night, and my, I I I was coughing all the time. Nice. We just say a lot, um, and we would also use the uh, the present perfect. I have had a temperature all last night, or you could just I had a temperature all last night would probably sound better. Um, but good. Okay. And Andrew, can you try the next one? Okay, my throat is sore. Do you have anything that I could take? Good. Are you allergic to anything? What? Are you allergic to anything? So, if you ask that question, the doctor might ask you, are you allergic to anything? What would you answer? Uh, actually, I don't understand uh, this question. Uh, allergic? Yeah, so it's like, do you have any allergies? Ah, allergy. Okay. Uh, I would say no. I don't have. Uh, I don't have. Okay. Yeah. You could say no. I don't. Or no. I don't have any allergies. But perfect. Okay. What about the next one, Adela? Um, you are bleeding pretty badly. You are going to need a few stitch for that cut. Good. And bleeding Pretty badly. And what did you do, Adela? What happened? Uh, maybe you uh, you are uh, oh, um, an accident. Uh, for example, in a traffic accident, maybe uh, you you can bleed in bleed uh, a lot. Yeah, definitely. You can bleed a lot in traffic accidents, for sure. Okay, good. And Nayong, what about the next one? Okay. My ankle, my ankle is bleeding to the size of a. Oh, I'm sorry. No. My ankle uh, is swollen was so swollen to the size of a balloon. I see there is brain or broken. That makes is that make sense? Close. I think you're really, really close. I'd use the present perfect or the present progressive. Ha. Uh, my ankle has been swollen. That would be the present perfect progressive, so it has been swollen, um, which we wouldn't, or has been swelling, I guess, would be the present perfect progressive. We'd want to change it a little bit. Um, so just the present perfect. So we need the perfect tense of to swell. Mm -hmm. So. Good. Does anybody think they can help her out? Sure. Uh, with present perfect, it will be my ankle has swollen mm -hmm. to the size of a balloon, or my my ankle has been swelling 
I think the present progressive would just be my ankle is swelling. It's swelling to the size of a balloon. Could work as well. Um, so it, it has swollen, so it's already in the state of being completely swollen. Or if it is swelling, it's still getting bigger. So it's getting to the point of being like a balloon. Either one would work. Can you read that sentence one more time, Young? Okay. My ankle is swelling to the size of a balloon as either sprained or broken. Yeah, and it's either. It's either. Either. Yeah. Either. Either. Good. Either. And so what happens, Nayang? What happened to your ankle? Uh, I don't know. I was running. Uh, no, I was jogging this morning. I think it was too fast. I was running too fast. Okay. That works. I was running too fast. That's a really good sentence. Just be aware that it's technically incorrect. We would want to say I was running too quickly. So we'd want to use the adverb to modify um, the verb. So how are you running? I was running fast. We'd say I was running quickly. Just because quickly, the adverb modifies the verb. Um, Thank you. It's good, though. So it's really common in, for English speakers to say I was running too fast. Um, so it's not a problem, even. Okay. Just be aware. Uh, and Julia, what about the last one? I have been coughing for the past three days. I think yeah. I have the Ebola virus. Oh, no. <laughs> I hope not. Um, but good. And where do you think you got the virus? Well, I don't know. I saw uh, one of my neighbors came from... South Africa last week and he uh, accidentally sneezed all over my face. Oh no. I guess I'd do it. Um, but good. Okay. And does anybody have any questions on this page? Okay. Let's go on. I have a question. Sorry. Okay. It's about uh, swell. Mm -hmm. I've, heard, I've heard people using that in the past participle, just exactly the same as the past. So my angle has swelled to the size of a balloon. Is that correct, or maybe I was just uh, listening wrong? You might have heard it. Um, uh, I'm looking up because I don't want to give you the wrong answer. Uh, yeah, so the past participle is swollen. Um, the simple past is swelled. I'm sure you could. People people probably do say it has swelled. It sounds wrong to me. Um, and it looks like it is technically wrong. But I don't think you'd confuse people. So if you said it, I think it, it could work. Um, but it is technically incorrect, at least from my quick internet lookup. Does yeah, that answer your yeah. question? Yeah, I've also heard the same thing with, with the verb drink. You know, it's drink, mm -hmm. drank, drunk. Yeah. And I heard people saying, like, I have drank 20 beers tonight. Yeah, it's probably because they drank 20 beers. They, they, can't, <laughs> they can't keep it straight. Um, but is that common or was just a one-time thing? No, it's definitely pretty common. I think in English the participle is a little bit more fluid, especially with native English speakers. People don't really think about it too much. And so you do have people making mistakes relatively frequently. So yeah, I, I wouldn't worry about them too much. Um, it does sound nice when you use them correctly, but if you don't, you're not alone. Um, but well, uh, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Any other questions? Okay, let's go on to the next page. And let's read this. Uh, David, can you play the little boy? And Ceballos, can you play the doctor? Yeah, Joshua. Uh, I told you I am not sick. What is 
What what is that? With it hurt? It's a tongue depressor. It won't hurt at all. What's that? Will it hurt? It says stethoscope. It won't hurt at all. What's that? With it with will it hurt? It's a cattle broth. It hurts a little less than a branding iron. Little kids have to little kids have no sense of humor. <laughs> Good. Perfect. Um, and so Julieta, can you explain what's happening here? Um, the doctor uh, uh, <laughs> the doctor was um, annoying or of the question of, of uh, the little boy's questions and uh, he decided to stop him <laughs> during <laughs> yes, uh, uh, with a, a cruel um, um, sentence. Yeah, definitely. So, him with a cruel sentence, maybe a cruel joke. Mm, yeah. Um, but yeah, so he's being maybe sarcastic, and the little boy is too scared to understand. Um, Can okay. we say what's a re joke? Re. A uh, re. W r y. Ah, rye. A rye. Ah, rye. Damn pronunciation. Right. <laughs> yeah. Um, it is. Uh, can you explain what is uh, branding iron again? Mm -hmm. Yeah, who can explain what a branding iron is? Does anybody know? It's an Jewish. iron that uh, you can use that you can use to brand animals when you have to put it on a flame and uh, brand animals. Yeah. Exactly. So when you heat up a piece of metal, um, usually with a design on it, and put it into an animal. So like this, that's a branding iron. Exactly. And what about a cattle prod? Who wants to explain what a cattle prod is? A cattle prod. Yeah, a cattle prod. Well, cattle, it's, uh, you know, refers to cows, but that's as far as I can get. <laughs> yeah, so I guess if we're looking at a cartoon of a cattle prod in action, it's just like a little electric zapper that allows you to move cattle or cows. Um, so it looks like the dog in this picture is wielding a cattle prod. Does that make sense? Sure. Okay. Good. And so in real life they could look like that. That could be a cattle prod. Um, good. And so let's have Andrew. Can you ask Adela the question at the top of the page? Uh, do you remember being a pain when you, your parents tries to take you places like the doctors? Him. I don't remember really uh, because uh, 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 when I was younger, uh, when I was a child, I I don't have uh, more problems uh, about the healthy about health. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't remember um, any traumatic uh, situation. Okay. So what about other places like the grocery store or your grandparents' houses? Were, were there any places that you just didn't like to go? And so when you're being a pain, um, you're just being difficult. So um, do you ever remember being difficult when your parents were trying to take you places? Um, I remember uh, only more traumatic uh, when I um, break uh, my... Uh, um, a, t a tooth, 
because I am uh, playing with uh, my friends and this is uh, only uh, a place uh, no, to the dentist. Uh, I remember a little uh, problematic but uh, not for the dentist uh, because uh, I have the mouth um, very very inflamada, sorry, very inflamed, swollen. Yes, because uh, uh, the I um, I put my my mouth on the floor. No, I uh, I I lay I um, uh, on the on the floor. Uh, I have uh, a pain in in my face. I don't remember uh, any tr uh, place, uh, uh, a special place uh, to uh, as a doctor or etc. I don't remember. Okay. Okay. Good. Um, Andrew, what about you? Um, uh, I remember being a pain when my parents took me to the dentist. Uh, it was awful. I lost my tooth. Uh, <laughs> I was crying. Uh, I couldn't stop bleeding maybe for two hours. Wow. Uh, yeah, and it was, I think, it was like a shock for uh, so uh, little kid like I was. So I, I remember uh, how it was. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Um, yeah, going to the dentist for a lot of people is always problematic. And so maybe let's have Adela. Can you ask Nayong the question at the bottom of the page? Um, were you ever afraid of going to the doctors and why? Uh, I'm still, uh, I still feel scary or afraid, afraid, uh, when afraid. I go to doctors, afraid, whenever I need to go to doctor or dentist, still, oh. until now. Okay, so even now. Doctor. Okay. I don't know, uh, um, maybe it's because of some pain, well, especially in the dental clinic, we mm -hmm. always have to, we always have to, you know, expect some kind of some pains or, you know, things like that. I, and, and I hate that, you know, sounds. Several, you know, many machines in there always make some noise, scary yeah. noise. I like, I don't like that. Okay. Yeah, definitely. So I think that that's one of the things that people are often afraid of too is the noise that drills make when you're at the dentist. Um, <laughs> it's Andrew, also known as Andre, which is also known as Andrewly. Also, Dark Shadow 3. I think I'm just going to call you Dark Shadow 3, Andrew, from now on. Um, but good. And does anybody have any questions or comments for this page? Okay. Let's go to the next one. And Nayang, can you ask Julio the first question? Okay. Julio, what is she feeling? Well, she is feeling her forehead with her fingers, <laughs> but I also think that inside she feels a terrible headache, maybe a migraine. Maybe she should go to see the witch doctor in her local village. Um, maybe she should go see the witch doctor. Can't type that fast. Uh, let's see. Doctor in her local. Really good grammar. That looks great. Um, 
yeah, I wouldn't change anything. And, okay, uh, Julio, can you ask Julieta the next question? Juliet, what do you do when you feel like this? Usually I take a rest or I take some pills. Nice, okay. Take a rest or you take some pills. Good. And Julieta, can you ask David the next question? David, if you were a doctor, what would you recommend? Yes, yeah, sure. If I were the doctor, I would say, for example, that it's nice that you can uh, relax and breathe uh, slowly. Also, if you are near to a drugstore, try to ask uh, the clerk that gives you a pill for the headache and come back to home, uh, take the pill with a glass of water and take a nap. Good. This is great. We have a few small errors. So if okay. I were the doctor, I would say... <clears throat> So this is the first part that was a little bit confusing. Uh huh. That it's nice that you can relax. I think we'd be giving more of a recommendation to re relax. Um. Mm, so calm maybe, down. Maybe it's nice to calm down. To calm. To calm down. To. I think relax and breathe slowly work really well. Okay. I just change, it's nice that you can. I think that's where we'd use a verb like recommend. Or maybe should. Uh huh. Okay. You should relax. And what, about, what about, it could be nice if. It would be nice if you could relax and breathe slowly. Yeah, it would be nice if you could relax and breathe slowly. Um, maybe it would help. Okay. If you relaxed and breathed slowly. I think that is what I would say. But good, yeah, that's another good way of putting it. Thanks for that. Um, also, if you were near... Ah. So... When we use near, there's uh -huh. no preposition. So we say close to, but just near. So oh, okay, just near. No preposition. So how would you repeat this? Yeah, sure. Also, if you are near a drugstore. Mm -hmm. Try to ask the clerk. And we'd use the infinitive here. Okay, to give you. Uh-huh. To give Pill. you a pill for the headache. And come back to home. Actually, we probably change come. Go back. Yeah. Go back. We don't want the preposition in front of to home. Um, you could say go back to your house. So to your house, but also just home. So go back home or to your house. Take the pill with a glass of water and take a nap. That looks good, though. Can you repeat those sentences one more time? Uh, yes, Joshua. Okay. If I were the doctor, I would say, for example, that you should relax and breathe slowly. Also, if you are near a drugstore, try to ask the clerk to give you a pill for the headache and go back home and take the pill with a glass of water and take a nap. Nice. Okay. Good. Yeah. Um, okay, perfect. Thank uh, you. So does anybody have any questions on this page? No, Joshua. Okay. And I don't know if we have time for that or that. Let's try this. And I'm not sure where we were. I think, Andrew, 
Can you read the directions? Uh, choose a picture and talk about it. Describe the symptoms and how much pain each person feels. Good. And maybe Adela, can you try the first one? Or choose one. Um, for example, the number one, the eight. Uh, maybe uh, he has a, a cold or a flu. Maybe a flu because uh, he has the thermometer uh, into the mouth. I think to, to measure his uh, temperature or the temperature. And uh, um, I think is uh, mm, the temperature uh, will be high uh, because uh, he seems uh, a little um, uh, inconscious, inconscious. Unconscious? Unconscious, uh, or maybe uh, some sleep, or uh, I don't know, but uh, maybe it's a symptom of high temperature, I think. Yeah, maybe exhausted would be a good one. Yes. Oh, all right. And so, unfortunately, that was really good. Um, we are out of time. I have another class right after this if you guys want to join. Um, but, yeah, I do have a class right after this, so I'm going to have to go. Thanks for coming into class, and hopefully I'll see you guys again soon. Thank you, Joshua. <laughs>